Oh, Agent York, sorry, I'm in a hurry. If it isn't anything urgent, can we do this at the shop later? What? Where do you think we are? Dr. Cox, where do you think we are? <laughs> Are you leaving? No, don't leave. I only have one quest left in this sequence and I need to get through it so we can do the next thing. Are you... No, I just got here. Oh. I have to wait till tomorrow. I think I... That guitar clips through the roof. What a terrible sign. It clips through the roof. It looks horrible. Oh my god, they really want me to buy that one cake. Look how many copies of the one cake there are. Damn it. Alright, so I'll, I'll do this tomorrow, I guess. Damn it. Uh, a lot of stuff's gonna happen tomorrow. Because tomorrow I can do the last dog bone quest. Because I think I have all seven bones. Which means... Keith Solo Live. You're really into yourself, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's they're everywhere. Oh, so on top of the whole California bra thing, you're... You're... Rock star man? You're not just fucking insane? <laughs> He's the local celebrity. Yeah, I, I think I think I have all the bones to turn in, so we can turn those in when I get to the next dog. I want to visit the thing. I think I'm supposed to visit the dog first, then give him to the graveyard. <clears throat> is how it works. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You rocking? Hey, you look a little down, man. I just got this thing to cheer you up. Time for you to have a rocking afternoon, FBI. Come on, get with it. Say, yeah. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come one. At least once. Yeah, say yeah. Come on, FBI. Aren't you into feeling good? I'm not shouting loud enough for you? Okay, then I'll give you all I've got. Let's go. Say yeah. Say yeah. Keeps getting up over and over again. <laughs> say yeah. Keith. Ah. Uh. What's wrong? What's wrong, FBI? Lily's glaring at you. Hey. Really? Oh, okay. Work then, work. You better get back to work too, okay? That worked pretty well, Zach. He didn't even check to see if I was telling the truth. Lily just left. Lily's not in the building right now. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. You rocking? I'll always be here, man, so just come whenever you like. It's like a rockin' place, but the service is first class. Keith. You should make a commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's the MVP, and not just because he has my name. He's clearly the best character besides York. Uh, shit. Time to come up with something else to do. Okay, it's time for our new mission, so I've done a... I've painstakingly read through a lot of the details about it, what the quest list is like, and so on, to get an understanding of it. At first, at first, 50 quests sounds really intimidating, right? But then I realize, oh, it's a little bit like Yakuza, where there's certain chains of micro-quests, which of course are counted equally as far as the number is concerned. But like in Yakuza, you'll find like some guy that wants to challenge you to a fight, and he'll challenge you to a fight like four times, and and get a reward each time, and all of those will be quests technically, like that, those kinds of things, or like you'll be in some sort of organization or some sort of there'll be some sort of chain basically of quests, and that's how this game kind of works. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Uh, I have a strain of quests involving Emily and George Woodman that are only available until chapter 13, and I think we're on like 9 or 10 right now, so that's, uh, alarming. The, the alarming thing about them is that you can only access them if it rains, so I need to do some research about, like, when it rains in this game. Do I have to be in a specific chapter for it to rain? But then you'd think that they would just make it re require that chapter. The alternative would be, uh... Do I just have to keep waiting into the next day over and over again until it randomly rains? Is it RNG? Because that's rough. There's a lot of- those are like some of the main characters of the game at the moment, and I can't get them- I can't talk to them because it won't rain. But, uh, on that subject, uh... What is it? Uh... There's a guy- there's a collectible- there's- you know the cards I'm collecting? That is a quest of it in itself where I talk with an NPC when I get more cards, and, it, it, and I just keep getting a reward for having X number of cards. That's five of the quests. There's five card quests. Uh, 
There's two more Lysander quests, which is the junkyard guy. There's a there's a little chain of quests involving this shop. If I can just get the next one to go, there'll be more. There, I'll st it'll stop being the part-time job thing where I bl push blocks around, but there's more quests after that, so that's a chain. But here's one of the ones I want to get started on. I, I finally tracked her down on the map. Sigourney, or roaming Sigourney. There's a series Jack, of there five. Here that you want to check out? We are supposed to meet Emily at the diner, but that's fine. Do whatever you have to. Don't chastise me, game. I'm trying to do your side quest that you never want me to do. Uh, roaming Sigourney. My understanding is that she'll just wander around the map and show up at random places. And there's five quests for for finding her and driving her home. I'm like, oh, poor Sigourney. Uh, I hope she tells stories in the car or we, we have a weird conversation. Hey, Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Could you explain what you're talking about? What are you rambling on about? My pot's getting cold as we speak. Hurry, hurry. Zach, I guess we're going to have to drive her home. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. Cold pot, one. Uh, the end of the world? The actual apocalypse? Now, get the car going! My house is over by the lake. Three, two, what? one, go! What? Ah! Why is there like an... Am I in a hurry? I don't know how much of a hurry I am, I mean, I'm scared. Ah. Uh, ugh! This thing has an unforgivably bad turning radius for being such a small car. I've driven a similar car, I think. Like, I own- I think I owned a similar one. At least in its, like, build. And I'm just like- I'm like sitting here like, why is this why thing so bad? Sigourney. Sigourney. Oh, do you live in this side street I never go on? Oh, this is Sigourney's house. I recognize this chunk of map, but I've never gone over here yet. There we go. Three, two, one, go. I wasn't ready for that to happen. Oh, thanks to you, my pot is still warm. I'm glad to hear that. Don't get so excited, will you? Keep your voice down. What, are you going to tell me a secret? The pot knows everything. Here's all. And find the person you are looking for. You need to look at things from a different angle. There is only one truth, but more than one is always visible. Like cooking a stew. Mix things in and wait for it to boil together. Just make sure it doesn't get burnt. And keep an eye on it. You have to gently mix it sometimes and wait until it's ready. Listen carefully. The best stew is a stew that is boiled slowly. Roaming Sigourney. Oh my! My pot is getting cold again! Did you have to talk so long? Oh! Alarming. I love that little detail that they didn't- they don't have more than one animation for her. So her other- her- when she's in- was standing in that position, she was just in her normal panicked, like, foot-stomping potty dance animation. Oh, that's her other shoe. I found it. She was in her, her little potty dance animation. She was just doing it slower. That's the only difference. These are super nice houses. God damn, that looks like not even a house. That looks like somebody's hotel. Like it's too big to be someone's house. Jesus. Car 9-1? I'm just wondering if all the license plates are references or not that I don't get. Yeah, 1114. Same license plate? That's illegal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's illegal. 
My first, my first license plate uh, on my first car was just Vidya Games. This one's LVB Forever. But I don't know if I, th I don't think I know what LVB Forever means. All right, well, just one more problem to deal with. We just got to keep tracking down Sigourney when she wanders out. What happens? Does she stop? Does she start cooking something? Is it possible for me to even? This car's turning radius is so bad it literally can't turn in a cul-de-sac. Which is literally a street designed for turning around in. That's why it exists. I can't do that. That's amazing. I assume she just start, starts cooking something. And then she wanders off carrying it out of her house with no shoe on one of her feet. And just walks into a completely different part of town. And then just hopefully someone finds her. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. I've noticed the bounciness of my car sometimes when I'm going uphill. I think it's actually because the streets are kind of low poly, so there's a bunch of little angles. So I'm doing a, like a bunch of micro jumps sometime when I'm when I'm driving up towards that park. It's a little alarming. Ah, there you are. You came at a good time, son. Can you hear it too? The scrap. They're talking. I can still go on. I'm not dead yet. Oh Jesus. You have to hear them to find the really good scrap parts. What the fuck? Ah, uh, it just sounds like the creepy dialogue from the monsters. What do you want again? Rank makes the man. That's true, but then the man also makes the rank. Status isn't as important as self-confidence. Yeah, but how, how do I do your next quest? It's... Shit. Gun man. I am here for gun. Even though I... I don't know how useful this place is gonna be with all the guns I already have, but what... That was weird. It's like he had to load his animation. I don't imagine his guns are super useful to me, but he has a quest. Wow, this place is really not good for walking room, is it? It doesn't feel like a legit shop, does it? Hmm. Is there anything you want? I've come to see what you're selling. You have a really good reputation. Don't trust what you hear out there. That's not the right response to somebody saying you have a good reputation. Information can be totally controlled in this day and age. Well, he's fittingly paranoid for a gun salesman. I'm well aware of that. But I can smell the difference. It's important in my line of work. Information smells bad when it's fake. And my shop smells okay, doesn't it? Something like that. Wesley, do you take pride in your work? Guns are tools for killing. It isn't a job to brag about, but any job needs pride in it, for it to be done well. That's what I think. A mixture of humility and pride. That's the way to be. Alright. Looks like my nose was right, Zack. Here's what I've got. He sells a saber. <laughs> he just straight up sells a sword. Neat. Long range, medium strength. You know what it doesn't have, though? Unlimited durability. Look at all these sad guns that require ammo. Embarrassing. <laughs> hmm. What can I do for you? You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Compliments do nothing. I strive to meet my ideals. Others may judge my results. The words of a true craftsman. Your job must be your hobby. No, I have another hobby. You do? Aside from work. Tell me then, what is it? It's nothing special. Since I was a kid, I always liked to collect cards. Cards? Like trading cards? That's right. That reminds me. I got this one after I came to this town. Hmm. This is a precious one. Where did you get it? I picked it up around here somewhere. I didn't really think much of it. I see. Then how about a trade? A trade? Here's an idea. As a collector, I just love looking at rare cards. I'd love to take a look at the cards you have. I won't take them from you. <laughs> and I'll give you something, depending on how many you show me. You'll pay me just to look at my cards. 
You really must be a card freak, huh? This means, just so we're clear, this spells out the idea that people are literally giving me cards, like of themselves and whatnot, as rewards. And it's not like a metaphorical abstraction via video game mechanics or something. It's like they were like, oh, maybe they gave me money or candy or whatever the hell. And it just it manifests in the game mechanic as like, trading card, lol. No, this guy literally wants to see the trading cards. <laughs> Will you show me your cards? Of course. You've got more than eight. I've never seen any of them before. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. Another card. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? Is it just accepted that this town has... a chain of cards? Like, they just... They just love to hang out and have cards of each other? As a concept? Super strange. Show me your collection. 16 cards will get another moderate thank you. 16 cards. Hmm? Wait. Looks like you got a few more cards. Show them to me. Looks like you have more than 16 here. That's very impressive. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. The panda bear card. Oh, this is not a trading card. That's Hold a discount on to card. It, okay. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? Now I can get a discount on those cards that I don't need. I mean, on this discount on those bullets I don't need. Yay. All right, let's get curious here. How much does he want to see now? This is uh, in the mid thirties. That's the raging bull. Ah, gah, gah. Where am I? I lost me. Thirty-two. He doubled from the previous number. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. I need to get three more. I'm way closer to thirty-two than I thought I was, apparently. Damn. And thirty-two is half? I think there's sixty-four of them overall. Damn. I have way more cards than I thought I did, but I guess a lot of these quests are handing them out to me. Kason! I have to catch him! He must be captured. He's out and about. Kason. Kason. Where have you gone? Where'd he go? Kason. 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 Mm, you don't hit the thing. Okay, cool. Yes, pull over. Mm, pull over. If I, if I meet your dog, then I can go to the graveyard tonight, because he's probably still there. He's probably always there. The graveyard guy. Kason. Kason. You. I just like taking walks all over this town. Whenever the wind blow wherever the wind blows me, I'm there. Dog. There we go. I'm gonna pet the doggy. Snack for Willy? Oh no. But it's the final snack for Willy. That's way more threatening than I meant for it to be. I didn't mean to press A. Damn it. How do I always do it specific? I think it's because that's that cutscene idles for so long that I start pressing A to try and push it along. Zach, I'm glad I don't need a warrant to search a doghouse. Why does it make that Here sound? Let's confiscate what we can find. I feel bad for Willie, but I need to keep my promise with Brian. The sternum's connected to the doghouse. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus, too. 
I'll have to give Willie something to make up for this another time. What? <laughs> That's just excessive. There's just straight up sword. I thought it was supposed to be something else though. I may have messed up somewhere. It's not a big not a big deal though. I've already got other absurd mega weapon that probably uh makes all other absurd mega weapons not really necessary anyway. New dialogue from Sally? Can I talk to you today? Sure, if it's just a little. You didn't come to the town meeting? That's right. I would have been far too nervous. I'm a little... unstable nowadays. That's totally understandable, considering your situation. You don't have to force yourself to do anything. Just hang in there. Thank you. I want to help you, for Anna's sake. Then let me ask you one question. Did you ever notice Anna going to dangerous places or associating with the wrong crowd? What do you mean? The murder happened at night, so I was wondering if there was a side to Anna that most people didn't know about. A side like that? To my baby? Never! Are you trying to insult me? No. No insult intended. I've seen this often, before. Children can fall in with the wrong people, away from their parents' eyes. No, not my baby. That could never happen. There are no bad people in this town either. Not my baby, not my Anna. Sally, are you okay? Of course not, my baby, my dear baby. Sally, I was only asking a question. Please calm down. Shut the hell up, you pig. My baby's in danger. I don't have time for you. My baby, Anna. My sweet baby. Someone, protect Anna. Protect my baby. Zach, we're not going to get anything more out of her now. But we did learn one thing. She knew very little about her daughter. Oh, we learned the most tragic thing to learn. Oh no, there's more dialogue with her. Oh no, and she's losing it. Anna, no. Anna, she isn't coming home again, is she? What a happy game. Wow. I gotta say that a lot of townsfolk women in this game that aren't named are just identical. It's just like the same... The same incredibly depressing dress and like hide back hair with one part of the hair going to the side like that. They're very common. Although those guys aren't that different either with like, we have the exact same unbuttoned V. Do you have the unbuttoned V? Of course you do. Wow, he's fucking built. <laughs> yeah. Do you want a drink? You work hard here, don't you, Quint? Of course, man. It's my dad's place. Someday, I'm gonna be a top-notch bartender here. It's nice to see you're helping your father out. <laughs> well then, you can help raise my takings. I've got a couple of special cocktails that I'm really proud of. Also, my dad may have mentioned this, but we have different menus. Well, the money ends up in the same place, though. Just order from whoever you like. This is a thing you guys have all just decided to do, is you all have different menus. It's a reoccurring thing from store to store. It's real odd. A lot of food options. Buffalo wings. Let's fill him up. You ate a lot. Damn. That's effective. I think he had more actual dialogue, though. Yeah. The flicker on the screens back there. 
You help the ones you love too, right? We're not saints or anything special like that. But we do what's right. For the right reasons. That's all. Kaysen gets everywhere around town. You. Is he gonna be the villain or something? Because <laughs> I see him everywhere. Hey, York, how about a drink? Or are you still on duty? Unfortunately, I am. Just don't work so much that you wither up and die, okay? Make sure you eat enough vitamins and get the nutrition you need. But then again, if you get too much nutrition, you'll turn into a big old marshmallow man like me. Well, take a load off if you can. Everyone needs to take a break every now and then. You. Well, take a load off if you can. The same line. <laughs> it, it, the text is yellow if he has something new to say, but that includes when his something new to say is just the line he said before, but shorter. <laughs> Richard, I can't reach you. Come here, Richard. How will I know if you have dialogue or not unless I can reach you, Richard? Come here, Richard. Richard. Hey. You want a drink? How's the case going? I see. Confidentiality and all that? Yeah, something like that. Come to think of it, you're an FBI agent. I better watch myself, because you might drag me in, eh? Don't worry about that. I make no sudden arrests. Unless provided with an immediate and overwhelming reason to. Ah, but saying things like that is all just part of your act. R Richard. <laughs> I was kidding. Don't be so uptight. Tell me, how's Sally? It's going to take a while for her to get better. I think. Could you let me know when she's when she is feeling better? I'd like to talk to her some more. Sure, no problem. But even catching the killer isn't guaranteed to improve her condition. It'd be a good place to start, though. I know. I was thinking the same thing. It is neat seeing all the characters all come together like this. And also and also, it's filled in by these anonymous people that just kind of fill in the group. Honestly, the... Uh, it's not wrong to compare this to some extent to, uh, Pathologic. A town beset by some kind of negative thing, although it's a murder and then maybe a bunch of zombies that are in my head and aren't real, but who's, who's to be sure, but it's a small town of characters that all interact with each other. And it's kind of neat just seeing how it's already an improvement just to have the characters wandering around and inter interacting with each other directly, as opposed to in Pathologic when they just stand completely still for 60 hours straight. And then it all, all the storytelling place happens via the, the one-on-one -on -one conversations you have with them, and never, and they never talk to each other or seem to interact. Like seeing Case and, and Sally and uh, Emily all show up around here from time to time is neat. Also, true to his word, I have seen George Woodman show up at the uh, the art gallery. I didn't go there at the time. But I was looking around on the map and I saw George actually was at the art gallery, just like his, he said he goes to when he mentioned before. And that and that's not just for show, because I wasn't there to see him. Uh, it was just the map, and... I assume my magical deity map that shows where all the villagers are at all times, uh... is not real and not in-game, and also, and if, and if, even if it is, George doesn't know about it. So he's not doing some, like... <laughs> Marauder's map nonsense where he tricks me into th into thinking that uh, he's in a certain place at a certain time. I assume that it's just he just genuinely wanted to go there. My hope is that I can deal with ah Emily's home. Emily is home, but unfortunately, I don't think I can deal with Emily. But I'll take a look regardless. Please don't drive off the road. Oh my god, how did you not... That's amazing that he couldn't turn enough to clear that... He almost didn't make it. Jeez. What I need to go to is Galaxy of Terror, because the day is coming to a close. Mostly because I waited around for much of the day for, uh... uh at the music... I think it was at the art theater. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. No, Emily. 
Emily's place is closed. Yeah, you can only see, you can only do the the next Emily and George quest if it's raining. It's super weird. It's super duper weird. I need to get to the Galaxy of Terror. Is that it? That's the gunsmith. George's house. I'll get that card at some point, probably. And yeah, the Swery 65 is where more people seem to show up. The Milk Barn. I... I'm not, I'm not playing it up for dramatic effect. I am straight up like... I can't find these places sometimes. This is Galaxy of Terror. Is this in the other chunk of town? Oh uh, yeah, there's the Sheriff's Department. Whoops. Alright. Gotta book it over there. I'm hoping that I can deal with that unwanted customer of theirs that's being a problem. 